hello guys how are you doing today so today we're going to be doing a continuation yes a continuation of um, what we learned from the last two videos a continuation on we're going to be learning more elaborate on the air purifiers the air diffusers candles and much more all right so first let's get into air purifiers so the air purifiers have filters that need to be cleaned monthly like every two to six months just like the filters for your ac so if your air purifier is not replaceable if you can clean it those need to be cleaned every two to six months or if yours doesn't get clean, can't get clean, those need to be replaced every two to six months, depending on where you live. If you live in a rural area, it's more like the five to six months where it's not a lot of movement and a lot of things going on. It's, and the air is pretty much cleaner in the rural area. So it's like every five to six months, your filters need to be cleaned. And then if you live in more urban areas, like more like every two to three months. In an urban area, there's more motion and more movement outdoors. And in a rural area, there's less motion and movement than in an urban area. So depending on where you live, and if you don't know what kind of area you live in, you can always check it every check your filters to see if they're full of the pollution stuff if they're full or if they're still clear and clean every two months just check it out and if it doesn't look that bad keep it in there and come back again in two more months but if it looks bad if it looks very very full of stuff collected into it it should be cleaned and next we're going to talk about air diffusers maybe some of you guys have heard that air diffusers aren't healthy for you but that is a myth they are healthy for you the only reason they wouldn't be healthy for you is because of people who don't clean it you have to take care of your air diffuser and clean it after every use some are automatically go off and some go off manually or both so if it automatically goes off, sometime after that, during that same day, it should be cleaned and dried. Or if you um, turn it off manually, after you turn it off manually, go clean it and dry it out. If you leave it uncleaned after using it and you come back to it like a week or weeks later and you open it and see nasty moldy water in it, yeah that's not healthy for you so you have to take care of your air diffusers and keep them up and clean them after every use so rinse them out clean out anything in there and make sure they dry before you put them away or before the day's over and you're through with them so that water doesn't turn into mold the next week or weeks you open it and you see that you don't want to see that so we want to clean our air diffusers after we use them because we want to be healthy and we don't want to be counterproductive all right so the next one is on candles so with the candles I have kids so lighting candles and flaming candles is kind of hazardous and not really safe with kids so instead of lighting the candle what i do is i have lots of candle warmers which is like a hot plate for a candle you just put the candle warmer on and you put the candle on top of the hot plate and the candle wax melts and the scents uplift the room and spread throughout the room from the candle warmer not a flame and that's more safe with kids they're not playing and might have an accident around the flame a fire and my kids have long hair so they get too close to that and they don't want their hair burning off uh, they don't want their little fingers burning off yes the candles do sit on the table and my kids sometimes come to the table and play so 
we use hot plates. So that's safe for the kids. That's safe, period. That's a safer route to go than lighting the candle and making the fume. Also, when you light a candle and make a fume, you have to blow that out when you're done with it. And you know when you blow that out, it makes a little bit of smoke, which is even more not healthy. It's just a little bit of smoke when you blow it out. But it's still, you're being a little bit more health cautious without having to blow out and make smoke and fumes in your air. So that's another reason. Lastly, lastly is we should be opening our windows or cracking your windows and letting some fresh air in. Occasionally, letting some fresh air in, letting some funky smells out. If you don't have air purifiers or if you don't have air pur if you don't have air purifiers yet and you don't you're not planning on getting air purifiers right now. An easy way to let out some of that stuff out, out of your home airs is to open up some windows, crack some windows. I don't usually do this in the summertime or the winter time because the summertime there's no breeze, it's too hot, and the winter time it's too cold of a breeze. <laughs> It'll freeze you. <laughs> It'll freeze me. <laughs> so during the fall and the spring is the perfect time. Open up some windows, crack some windows, and let in some fresh breeze air. I usually do this in the spring and the fall time. Right before I go to sleep, I open up some windows, and right after I get up in the morning, I close them back, and it feels so beautiful and fresh, airy, and breezy <laughs> when you wake up in the morning and breathe in some fresh air that's been coming in through the night while you've been sleeping. You sleep good too. And during the night time, during the evening time, because there's not a lot of people moving outdoors, the air should be crisp and clean because everyone's asleep. Everyone's asleep in town. So it's only fresh air out there. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's basically it for today. If you have any concerns or questions, let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and like and go ahead and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a blessed day.